Hi, Geminis. Welcome back to my channel at Bobby's Girl Pro 444. These are going to be general weekly messages for the sign of Gemini. You could be dealing with another Gemini or someone that has Gemini highly aspected in their chart. So only take what messages resonate for you and your situation. Leave the rest at the door. Do not force the messages to fit if they don't fit with you. Okay, so let's get started, Geminis, and see what the energy is. See what's coming out. What are the messages here for Gemini? for um, April 5th through the 8th, okay? All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, so somebody's trying to come out of conflict here. Kind of want to come sideways. Uh, stuck in their head. So somebody's trying to get out of their head. They're having some nightmares and conflict here over a love situation, okay? Now, it does not have to be love. <coughs> it could be a soulmate connection. Just could be a partner. Could be a friend, could be a family member, but somebody's up late at night. Somebody's having nightmares. Somebody's trying to get out of their head, but they're conflicted. It's like they're, they don't know which way to go. Okay. So they are being guided to move forward. Now you could be dealing with a Libra, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and a Gemini here. Definitely could be a double Gemini. Also, we got somebody reaping what they've sown. Okay. Due to their devilish ways here. Or some a feeling bound to a situation. So like running with the devil. Somebody's running with the devil. Capricorn, uh, a Taurus, a Virgo. All right. Yeah. Somebody's spying on you. We got the devil spying on you. It could be any of these energies here, but somebody's watching you. Somebody wants to come in and rush in and bring some message or some type of clarity here birds of a feather so the birds of a feather stuck together so whoever this person was it was just uh they you know birds of a feather they flock together monkey see and monkey do so somebody repeating what somebody else is doing i don't let's see gemini what's going on here gemini okay, maybe you're going over mountains or there's a mountain that you need to get over you need to climb you got obstacles, this obstacle in the way, this love situation is an obstacle for, for you. Okay, so somebody's feeling, crying, crying over spilt milk here related to an apology or some type of offer that somebody sh uh, didn't make. They regret not making an apology or not giving an apology or not making an offer here. So um, it could be a water sign. Somebody just focusing on what they're losing, they're losing out, or they feel like they've lost out because of not apologizing or not offering something here. So uh, what's going on? Okay, because this person is trying to get into calmer waters. They're trying to move forward or they're being guided to move forward, but they're not moving. This person has a lot of words to say, but they're feeling very stuck. They're trying to come out of this conflict, this uh, self-sabotaging ways here we got a lot of air so a lot of communication back and forth whether it is it with another gemini or if it's you gemini communicating with a possibly a capricorn it could be a pisces it could be a cancerian okay someone in your family here a lot of communication head games somebody could be playing head games i can't take it anymore Head games with a boss or around your money or around finances or around stability here. Putting in time and effort to um, somebody take a huge loss. The King of Pentacles. He, oh, my God. He's so good looking. I love him. He's amazing. He's fruitful. He's abundant. He's a leader. He takes charge. So working on these finances, but it's a burden. So whatever this uh, job is, is a burden or this money situation or this uh, lover situation is a burden. Carry on my wayward son. Somebody wants to carry on the son. Look, somebody's son. This is your son or this is a son. Could be a Leo child. You could uh, have Leo in your chart here doesn't have to be. It just could be a child. It could be a, a, a daughter. 
burdensome? Being happy is a burden? Or finding happiness here is a burden to someone? Gemini, what is going on? All right. Happiness is a virtue. What? And that's the truth. Okay, so carrying these burdens is a burden to this person. Trying to, this job, this person does not like the job that they're doing. Gemini, maybe you're having trouble with your job. You're not liking your job. Putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort into a love connection or a work situation here. And it's just become more of a burden than it is making you happy. And that's the dang truth. That could be a Libra. It could be a Gemini, another Gemini, double Gemini. Okay, you could be a double Gemini. Tell me about this uh, Queen of Swords. She's like, come here, tell me the truth. So somebody wanting to tell the truth, but they're they're pissed off. They're angry. What is this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning here? So somebody's getting a new offer or somebody is has got an offer. Maybe somebody's wanting a job here or needing some type of help, needing some type of money. This queen of swords has a new a new beginning, whether it's a queen or it's a king. Something new coming in for this person. There's a lot of competition or conflict around this new beginning. But this uh, queen of swords, whether that's you, Gemini, is like, come hither to my face and tell me what you need to tell me. She's very cold. She's very direct with her words. It could be a judge. She could be a lawyer. She could just be placing judgment on someone right now. Okay, somebody's holding back or somebody's withholding. Somebody's holding on to an opportunity or not wanting someone to get an opportunity. Okay. Tell me about this. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Pisces here. Somebody's stagnating, trying to procrastinate, trying to, you know, not make things move forward. Somebody doesn't want something to move forward here. Someone's in their emotions. Someone's in love. This person is in love here. Whoever this King of Cups is, he's got a lot of love to give. He's very uh, in his emotions right now, in his feels. This person could have been blindfolded by a situation or have been, has been directed, uh, you know, onto a different path or got, got off their path in some sort. Okay, it could have been, yeah, definitely for the past situation. Someone from their past could have had um, some type of in, an instigator, I hear. So somebody could be dealing with an instigator. Yeah, from the past, childhood, somebody you went to school with. It could be a soulmate connection. It could be your um, a sibling. It could be a parent. Here, honey, you don't want this. How about this one? That's what I hear. Here, honey, that, that cup's no good for you. We're going to give you, let's go with this cup. So somebody trying to, yeah, change somebody's direction or change their perception of someone in order to get them to take a different cup or try a different offer, go a different way. Um, towards a queen of wands, maybe a Leo energy, a Sag. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Okay, so yeah, somebody's stolen. Stolen property here. Somebody could have gotten some property stolen. Somebody could have got robbed. Their house got raided. From some here, I'm hearing a house raid. So somebody's house could have got raided. All right, we got the Ace of Wands here. This new beginning. Somebody stole. Ooh, somebody st this is an emperor with this ace of wands. We got big daddy energy here. Some leader in a family situation. This could just be uh, uh, the person that is in control of your household. This could also be someone that likes to get their way. But their ways is getting them out in the cold. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands and the Emperor messages or action. 
someone wanting to take action because this is person this person's like I want what I want and I get what I want no matter what so it doesn't matter what they have to do in a situation to manipulate it they get what they want or they they will say that they get what they want and they'll go after it in no means or way possible it doesn't matter who they hurt along the way this could be a Sag, it could be an Aries, it could be an Aquarius, it could be a Pisces, it could be a Cancerian, it could be a Libra, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Taurus or a Virgo. This is also about travel, someone needs to travel a distance, so you could be away from this person right now. The number eight could be significant for you if you've been seeing 888. Tell me about these messages. Or this action, this movement. Someone wants to take an initiative here because uh, you walked away, Gemini. This person giving to two. Now they're making a decision with something that is unbalanced here. They want to rebalance something out, but you are defensive because you walked away from this person, Gemini. Or this person walked away from you. Or this person discredited you in some way. Um, Maybe you left at night, maybe you snuck away, or somebody's trying to sneak away in the night. It's a midnight runner. Whoever you're dealing with, they're a midnight runner. They go, they work during the night. Okay, um, tell me about this seven of wands. Why are we guarded or defensive or blocked? Something's backfiring here around a work situation or a contract. Now, uh, this could be a marriage too being blocked from the commitment, okay? And we got a child, so a child could be involved, a, a Sagittarius child or a fire sign child here. I also see uh, this could be like lack of responsibility, someone not taking responsibility for their actions. A child could have been produced in a, around a work situation or a new idea. Um, has been produced here or some type of new beginning or new endeavor was started someone looking off into the future futuristic ways something's going on in this institution this institution could have to do with working with children or uh, working children Take it as it resonates, okay, Gemini? It's not going to be for all of you. I have to give the messages, whatever is out here. There's a lot of red here, a lot of uh, anger. I'm, I'm just picking up a lot of uh, animosity, a lot of, uh, you know, people arguing back and forth. And uh, I also see, like, somebody trying to, like, come here this way, you know, like, come into my parlor, like, Someone is being enticed, like a, a kid with candy. Somebody trying to offer candy to children to get them. Oh, my God, this is sick. <clears throat> Gemini, I really hope this is not you here. I also see um, somebody could have had a pregnancy. Maybe they had a miscarriage here because I do see uh, a lot of blood spill. So, I mean, if it's not that. Then maybe somebody is out for blood. Tell me about this page of wands, please. And this three of pentacles for Gemini. Okay, something could be exposed. Something can be on the World Wide Web. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, <clears throat> an Aquarius around the love situation or a soulmate connection or a partnership. Or this could be a friend exposing. This could be a best friend. <clears throat> we don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Oh, no. So someone says they don't have to take their clothes off to have a good time. Maybe some of them do. Maybe some of them don't. But in this case, maybe they're lying. Could be dealing with a habitual liar. Tell me about the world. 
something with ribbons here, a gift, okay? So it definitely could have been a child. Somebody's blocked off communication or somebody's uh, feeling like they're at a crossroads right now. Someone, something's not seen. It could be a Libra. Blinded by the light. Wake up like a douche in the ruler in the night. Definitely two, uh, two or more people involved. Now this person's heartbroken or are dealing through some heartbreak here and they're pissed off. There's competition. They're fighting people off. Somebody keeps trying to, I want to break, break your, break, break your heart. You only want to break, break your, break, break your heart. Somebody wants to be a heartbreaker. Slice and dice. So whatever, somebody's saying slice and dice. So somebody's out for someone else. We got Leo here trying to regain strength. So they could. this could have made this person weak. It could have made you weak. Over this uh, heartbreaker, heartbreaker, you got the best of me. So somebody got the best of them. <clears throat> and then somebody got the worst. So take the roles and reverse them as, uh, as they are to your situation. Somebody could uh, be working on courage. Color green could be significant for you guys, Gemini. You just focus on your money but you're having a difficult time. <clears throat> and I don't feel like that you're actually interested in the job that you're doing right now. So that's causing conflict because you're in, you're stuck in a job that you're not satisfied or not happy with. It's not bringing you happiness. It's just bringing you burdens. Breaking hearts. Somebody needs to purify their energy. Somebody's got very long hair here. Somebody's straightening their hair. Okay, Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? This highly intuitive Leo. Somebody that's got Leo highly aspected in their chart. She's full of happiness here. Someone wants to be happy. This person looks happy. So maybe somebody, there's jealousy around this happiness of this Queen of Wands. This person may, may know a lot more than she lets on. There's also a lot of love that this person has, this queen of wands, whether she's a queen or a king, it's the energy, it's not the person, okay? So um, a lots of overflowing love or a new love is coming in for this person. If you're not with someone right now, Gemini's new love is coming in, overflowing abundance of love being gifted by the universe for this heartbreak situation that you've been through, okay? Yeah, lots of love. You could be a mother. Maybe you're finding out you're about to be a mother. Some of you have just recently became mothers or you're getting ready to be mothers. Um, there could be a boy here, energy. Or a little boy is significant. So we got waiting, guys. What are we waiting on here? Somebody's waiting. It could be waiting on results for a positive pregnancy test. Lilies could be significant. Uh, reptiles could be significant here. Maybe some of you have reptiles as pets. A lot of water here. Somebody's very emotional or in their emotions here over this heartbreaking situation being thieved from. This boss, though, is very controlling. This leader, it's my way or the highway type energy. So we got the highway men or the highway women we're dealing with. <clears throat> what is this three of swords? So 333 three, three could be significant. Have you been seeing that? Gemini's. So we got the star. Okay, so you could be in the public eye. You could be in a healer. You could be an Aquarius. You could also be purifying yourself. If not, you need to purify yourself. This could also be uh, taking baths. Maybe you went to the... Um, just be careful if you're going to a hot tub because I'm getting a hot tub. So maybe you're in a whirlpool or a hot tub. And if you are pregnant, just be careful with that because that can, uh, you know, enhance a miscarriage. You know, if you want. Because I did pick up there that somebody could have had a miscarriage. The heat is not good for you when you're pregnant. But I do see 
a lot of baths here or balancing. The number eight can be significant here, or you stand, you're st you just stand out. You're standing out right now. You're exposed. You he you have healing energy. You got very good healing sex. So maybe somebody's looking at your healing sex, looking off at a distance here, thinking about taking a you know a new journey or wanting to take action towards a new path. I also see somebody moving. Whether that it, you know is a conscious decision for you to move or a forced decision uh, to move, it could be to a different city, could be a different state here. But someone looking looking out towards the future, towards a, a different path or taking a different journey, um, and offering some love to possibly this Aquarius or this Queen of Wands or. Tell me about the Two of Wands, please. Tell me about the Aquarius or the Aquarius and the Sag or Aries. Somebody feels like they're covered in shit. I mean, I'm just going to say it because I don't know if it's just like shit piling up. Somebody's stirring the shit pot or um, somebody feels like they're covered in shit. They may have actually stepped in dog shit or horse shit or they're just dealing with a bunch of horse shit as it is. So I, I tell you what they want me to tell you. It's just the, I'm just the messenger, so uh, don't shoot the messenger. So tell me about these two of wands and the star, please. Or somebody shitting on a star. Somebody could be shitting on a star here for the another message I got. Shit talker. Tell me for Gemini here. Okay, about a single. Someone that's single, someone that's independent. Okay, looking towards this person. This could be a Virgo. It could be a, a Taurus or a Capricorn energy here. Someone looking at money. Someone looking at finances. You like the key to somebody's happiness. The key to key to success over here because this person, whatever they've been dealing with, uh, Gemini. Now this could be you. Reverse these roles, okay? They're looking at this single person with these nine pentacles, and they only have five, and they're left out in the cold. Like I said, if somebody's moving, somebody's moving out, or somebody could have been evicted, somebody could have lost a home here, definitely out in the cold, wanting to uh, send a message to this single person, wondering how that they can get into their good graces. This person uh, is able to balance themselves out. They're patronized. They're looked up to. They have good advice. These birds, they, she may talk to birds, whether you're a he or a she. Somebody still wants to come in and make this offer. Romeo, who ain't found Juliet. So Romeo has not found Juliet yet. And that's the dang truth right there. Okay, someone looking. Uh, off looking for greener pastures and haven't found the right pasture yet. Oh, this is also someone you know, that may want to cut through bullshit, or maybe you're cutting through the bullshit. There could be some competition here. If this is not uh, one person involved, and there is a uh, lack of transportation here, lack of movement, or some type of stagnation, or this is like a forced stag, uh, a forced pause. This could also be like a, somebody got their a vehicle vehicle repoed. Maybe you can't pay for your vehicle. Due to uh, finances here, rebuilding, car trouble or car being taken away, lack of control and in, in movement here, someone not able to control their movement or someone preventing someone to move, controlling the way that they move. Like this, somebody that's saying, you're allowed to take the car, but you can only take the car to, to work into the grocery store, and then you have to be back at home. So they could be putting a time frame on when somebody's out and, you know, doing their errands. And if you're not back at a certain time, you know, then this emperor is going to take charge because it's my way or the highway. All right, let's see. Uh, what's the messages here? And that's the truth. I can't make this stuff up. I'm on the right track. Truth and clarity in that. Could be an air sign. It could be just messages about the truth. You could already know the truth. There could be secrets or lies here around a family situation or some type of emotional fulfillment around families not being fulfilled. There could also be fears around commitment or family situation. 
I hear the secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. Somebody could be talking in their sleep and they're letting out their secrets. They don't even know this. Somebody could be trying to tap into somebody's dreams or to tap into their intuition here or someone needs to tap into their intuition. All right, tell me about the moon and this 10 of cups. Somebody could be drinking right now, celebrating. What is this queen of pentacles here? The single uh, abundant mother. Capricorn, we got two queens. We got two kings and two queens. So definitely, you're de dealing with multiple people in your situation, Gemini. We've got a Cancerian, we got a Virgo, we got a, a Libra, and we got a Sagittarius here, and we got an Aries coming out, uh, and a Leo. What's going on with these queens? We got multiple, my part-time lover. So somebody may be on a part-time lover. Someone could have been a mistress here in a situation. They had a wife. They had a mistress. They could have had three different women. One on the side. Side piece, a mistress, and a wife. I, I mean, it could be different if you're a man. Reverse these roles, okay? Because somebody's selfish. They want to have their cake and they eat it too. It's my way or the highway here. You could have children with all of these women because all of these children, all of these women could uh, motherly like figures. So three women, three children. Take it as it resonates. All right. And we got someone hermiting right now. Yeah. And they're conflicted. They, they could be dealing with competition. They could be a lot of worry. So they're. I feel like somebody may be hiding. They don't want to face their consequences. They don't want to face these women or these men who, you know, whoever it is. Somebody not wanting to take responsibility, but a tire's coming down. There's crashing down. This could be an actual crash. Somebody could be involved in a crash. I think I picked that up in another reading here. It could be drunk driving. So somebody could be out drunk driving and yeah, definitely. Somebody could be out drinking and driving and get in a car wreck. So just be aware of this. You know, you are putting other people's life at risk when you get behind of a, a vehicle and you take that risk. You're putting your life at risk, everyone in your car at risk or your vehicle, and plus whoever's on the road. Oh, Gemini's, what is going on here? And that brings balance, that bring justice here. This is also time. Somebody could be doing some time. Could be a Sagittarius. I've got Sagittarius coming out really heavy today in these readings. Definitely third parties involved here. And now somebody feels betrayed. Because of their selfish ways. And now they want to rest. Now they're trying to find peace. They're trying to find balance. Someone may need rest if they're not resting, if they're up having nightmares and they're stuck in their head, trying to come out of this self-sabotage because this person did this to themselves. Polygamy, poly, uh, polyamory, sucked in to a conspiracy of juggling. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, which one do, do I like this one? Because this one has these qualities. Oh, do I like this one? But this one has these qualities. So I'm going to tap in and have a little bit of everything because, you know, I can control it. I can possess people, right? Somebody wanting to possess you. Maybe literally being very foolish. Don't care. I don't care get who, who gets hurt as long as they get their way. What's the messages? What's this betrayal here? Oh, yeah. God stepped in. Whoever your faith is, okay? This could have been, that, like I said, that corrupt uh, business this person's running. Maybe they're running a bunch of um, ho-hos. Running a bunch of ho-hos here. I mean, I got to say that, too. It's a, it's a corporation together.
It's an oath that somebody took. This could have to do with a, a church or somebody's religion. Maybe somebody, uh, it, it, their religious background is this way to have many females or to have many males and, you know, be self-centered and be selfish. And uh, this is how somebody grew up. That was their way of thinking, their way of doing. Because you're the key to this person's happiness, Gemini. But they also have many keys to fit that one door. So they like to uh, switch it up whenever they get bored. Now the wheel is turning. This is also karma that this person's dealing with. This is God bringing down the wheel of karma. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Taurus. Somebody's wounded. Somebody's feeling like the wounded warrior here, man. I went through battle over this, over my passions. They, their wand could be wounded, especially if they are a, a male here, this emperor. They feel like either this uh, king of um, swords or this king of wands is the emperor. And there could be another gentleman involved. And then you got three females involved here. So yeah, their wand is wounded. Many sexual partners. This person may be younger or just uh, very immature. Like I said, they do what they want whenever they want, this person does. They could still be confused, trying to figure out how do I self-sabotage my connections? I don't understand. How, how am I doing this? Why do I keep putting myself in this situation? How come I keep getting myself into this mess? This is what I want. Like, all these women have everything I want. Can we just put them into one woman? But then it's like this person's still not satisfied. They can't They can't get fulfilled. So this person may, I don't know, there's death. Death is coming out here on the bottom. We'll see. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Somebody could have, like, a serious sexual illness here. I don't know if this is a, an ex or a past person, Gemini, uh, and you were dealing with this person, I may not take them back if I were you. I would pay attention to the warning signs <clears throat> because this person is bored and they're dissatisfied. Everything that's being offered to them, they don't want it. They push it away. They reject it. And this person is also don't want to be rejected by you. They want a family. They want stability. They want this happy home life. And there's people talking in the background around this. Whether this is going on right now or what this person is bringing into you. So be, be aware of being attached to, uh, to this karma this person is dealing with right now. <clears throat> because you could be picking up karma. That's possible. Whether it's good or bad. In this situation, it's negative karma. Doing the deeds, dirty deeds, dunder cheap. So, which one, you know, was it cheap? Is it about how much it cost? What's the pay rate? Third rate romance, low rent rendezvous, somebody rendezvousing on low rent. Options, fantasies, fulfilling fantasies. Which one can fulfill my fantasy right now at this time? This is what I'm fantasizing about. Let me see which one will get my needs met. And then I'll drop that one. And then I'll go back to this one. This one like takes a repeating cycle around three different individuals. So they go from one and then we get bored at and they go to the next one and they get bored there and then they go to the next one. And it's a constant repetitive cycle with this person. So, oh, Gemini's. Let's see. This person may have a child. They're working. They're working hard. Working, trying hard. Working real hard. Just to trying to find a job. Somebody's trying to find a job. Yeah. They could be caught up in the legal system right now. The job that they were doing was not very satisfying. They didn't like doing it anyway. It wasn't making them happy. It was becoming too burdensome. 
So now they're trying to find a job. They can't. They done corrupted themselves. Probably have a bad reputation now. May have a child already. If not, this person wants to work real hard to try and put in the work to try and have a child with you. Uh, and they could be dealing with legalities. Uh, it could be a Libra. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn energy here. And somebody knows. She who knows. Somebody very intuitive. Somebody could have went and got a tarot reading to find, find this out. If this hasn't happened and it's not currently happening, it will be happening here in the near future. B and J, the letters B and J could be significant to somebody. The letter M could be significant for you. All right, Gemini. So those are the messages I have for you. Um, this person could be very spiritual. Maybe there's a religion difference here. One's more religious and one's uh, more spiritual. So, you know, take those as they resonate because they will not be for all the Geminis out there. Um, but these are the messages I have. Check with other readers. Uh, check some of the other um, videos that I've done. There may be messages in there for you um, also. So, yeah, these are the messages for the next couple of days. So. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If they resonate, leave me a comment below. I appreciate all your love and support for my channel. And, you know, if it is helping, let me know. That's great. I hope you have a wonderful week, Gemini. Take care.